the ancient towers of Harleth Castle in Mary Ondith through the personal standard of Princess Elizabeth when Her Royal Highness, accompanied by the Duke of Edinburgh, continued her two-day visit to North Wales. Among those welcoming their Royal Highnesses were many in traditional Welsh costume, including a harpist who sang a specially composed song of welcome to her own accompaniment. After meeting local celebrities and representatives of local welfare societies, their Royal Highnesses left Harlech and drove southward through the Welsh countryside, most beautiful now in the freshness of spring. Their next stop was Dolgethley, where the townsfolk had been thronging the streets since early morning to give them a loyal Welsh welcome. In the town square, the princess inspected cadets of the Royal Welsh Fusiliers and other services, including the Red Cross. In the afternoon, the royal cars headed north again, across the county, for Bala and then Corwen, where they arrived in the early evening. Here, the Royal Train was waiting to bring them back to London after their tour of some of the loveliest country of the West and of the county in particular which claims the proud privilege of having given its own name to Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Earl of Merionneth. <laughs> 